Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden 2. In the last episode, we got a job for, uh, we got something to do. Anyways, I've come here to show you we're going to do the Falcon Room, which should look familiar if you played, uh, Sukoden 1. She has a rival, Anita. She has a rival. You can probably guess who that is by the rune that she uses. And yeah, we're gonna use Millie. I'm gonna use uh, these characters to head into the uh, Highland place. But before we go there, I need to check out one other place, which someone reminded me of because I totally forgot about it. But well, there's a there's a port town south of uh, south of uh, New City. Which we're gonna head to. But yeah, in the last episode, I showed off the Muse Matilda uh, trick. I'm not gonna use it, but it's there if you wanna use it. I figured I'd just show it to you. Anyways, let's head south. I love this game so much. I love it. Yeah, so we come over here, we come to this town, I forget what it's called. We got more spiders. Let's try to get this room. Ah, if we don't get to show it, that's alright. But yeah, she has a uh, fountain room where she whacks, 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 whacks. Similar? Hmm? I don't want to spoil who her rival is because we'll meet her later, but. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is Cornette Town. And there's some rough folk here. Hmm, interesting to know. Oh, you're fixing supper. So let's check it out a little bit. Go to the blacksmith, maybe. Welcome to Cornet. Mm, we can buy some stuff here. Karate uniform. Ooh, that's good. Plus five tech is good as well. Shoulder pads. Uh, I should buy one, but I do want to go... I do want to go... Uh, no, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll come back. I do want to check the... Uh, yeah, here we go. Blacksmith. This is what I want. And these guys can sharpen up to level 5, maybe? more money, you know, I sharpened Millie's when I should have sharpened Nominate. Yeah, he can boost our weapons up a little bit more. But yeah, the music here is nice. It's quiet. It's very lovely. Alright, I will. Yeah, so maybe eventually we'll go across the lake. And yeah, the lake to the south is called the Dunan Lake. And if we come into the tavern, we can check out some stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of come in here. I don't really want to do too much here. Yeah. Oh, look at that, we got another recipe. Fish good. Take a load off. Yeah, so if we go to the west, if we keep going west from uh, Muse, we can get to Green Hill. And if we keep going, uh, this is the inn, I think. Yeah. The thing is, they charge 90 pots per person. So, yeah, no, I don't think so. Although it does, it does seem reasonable. And here's the inn up here. 
Uh, should I continue? Yeah, I guess I'll continue exploring town. But yeah, this village is a quiet one. Not much happening here. Yeah, I want to go across the lake, sure. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're trimming the bonsai tree, huh? Hmm? Bonsai. No, I don't. I'm not from Highland. I'm not from Highland. Difficult books, books in a foreign script. No, I'm not a customer. Actually, you guys don't sell anything here. How can you? This isn't. All right, let's go down to the port. Look, there's Kitty sitting at the port, of course. Talk to you. Yeah, I'd love to go across the lake. Where's your cat? Oh, he's sitting right there. Oh, he's a cutie. Oh, shoot, huh? He seems like a smart fella. Storm's coming, come on, you can take me. Yep, yep. So here's the ships here. We can't head south yet. Maybe eventually we can. Maybe eventually we'll check out this whole world, which we will, obviously. It's a role playing game. I've never seen a role playing game where you, you, you play the game and you don't check out the whole damn world. Crouching is good for the soul, and but tough on the back. Anyways, if we come over here, this is a this is a house, but we can't get in. I wonder who lives there. Anyways, uh, we're done here. Let's get the hell out of here. And now let's head over to the Highland border. We're pretty much done looking around. But yeah, if you didn't collect, if you didn't get Ricky Maru, uh, he he would be in this town. You'd have to get him probably now or later. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's head up towards the border now. It's been enough time exploring. Although it's a great thing to explore because this game has plenty of nice things to explore. I love the music in this game, too. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or what. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Ryo does wear gloves. So just like uh, Tur in the first game, his rune is hidden underneath a glove. Hey, how's it going? We're the guys that's going to be going... Uh, we're going to be exploring. Yeah. Yeah, now now we gotta be careful. No, spying is never romantic. What would we, we James Bond? All right, so let's follow this guy. Apparently, we can't go that way, but we can go through here. Rio. Rio says thanks like you're supposed to. Oh, say thanks. Okay, thank you. No, probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's have him join us until we get. Let's uh, let's go all the way. Oh, more killer bunnies. Bunny attacks. And let's use his rune if we can. No. And let's use her rune, which I think I showed off. No, no, I haven't. 
That footage got destroyed. Ow! Now, Sai's defense normally doesn't suck like that, but when you use the Unicorn Rune, you actually, um... You actually, what is it? Let's unite. Eh, uh, let's just attack. When you use the Unicorn Rune, your defense goes down to zero. Man, why are these guys so tough? I don't remember having so much trouble with enemies here. These guys need three Unite attacks just to beat them. Jeez. There we go. Wonderful. Alright. So let's uh, heal Psy there. Man, these guys. Maybe I should have brought in, like, good characters. Not saying that these guys are bad, but they kind of suck. Well, no, they don't. I lie. Anyways, let's do this again. Sigh of the Divine Spear, yay! He divinely does that. Anyways, um... No, let's keep going this way. Hey look, new enemies, armadillos. Actually... Hmm... You know what? We can, we can use some runes here, what the hell, why not? Now that killer damage is getting getting worked in there. I like it. Lovely. You know, that black shield sword rune is actually almost soul eater-esque with that ability there. Alright, we got some brass armor from those guys. Let's equip the uh... Oh you guys have tunics? Can you even equip brass armor? No? How about you? Can you equip brass armor? I did get brass armor, didn't I? Yeah, right here. Oh, just Joey can equip it. Ah, what the hell. Ooh, a belt of strength. I'm giving that to Rio. Due to the fact that uh, I need his strength to be a little higher. And I can give those gauntlets to... I don't give a crub. Mm. I guess it don't matter. I'm just giving them to you. There we go. Alright, now let's continue. Here, we go down here. Over here, we should get another treasure. Get a circle it. What the hell? Let's give it to you. What the hell was going on with that? Anyways, let's give you the feathered hat. There we go. Now, lovely, lovely. Anyways, let's head up now. Now that we got all the treasure. Mm, 
Let's run up, run up. <laughs> Running through the woods is fun. It's fun, it's fun, it's fun. Now over here is where we're going to split up. Yeah, so turn around, ladies, and sigh. Yeah, we gotta get our clothes off. We gotta get all naked. Yeah, we don't look right in those uniforms. Maybe back in the day we looked pretty cool. But now it's just, uh, now it's just not worth it. So now we're inside the, uh, the enemy's fortress again, and, uh, here we're gonna just kind of look around. Yeah, so we gotta look for the provision tent over there. But before we do, there's a ruin that we can check out. Oh, yeah, alright, fair enough. We don't want to get caught. caught here aren't we we're uh we're oh why would you tell them that yeah they are pure evil you're right they are thanks We gotta get butter. Hey, you guys! Yes? I guess it's my imagination. You can't be despised with faces like that. How you guys keep your spirits up, okay? Alright. Jeez, you scared the shit out of us. Yeah, let's take a look around. So what do they got here? It doesn't look like they have a lot of stuff that they're going to be uh, dealing with. Yeah, two weeks. Seems pretty fast. They're going to destroy us in, within two weeks. Anyways, I want that treasure. Uh-oh. It's Roud. Captain Roud. No, we haven't. We've come back. We've come back. No, I don't want to run. I want to get that treasure. So we come over here, we can get the treasure. But where are we going to hide? How are we going to get the hell out of this place? We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Country 1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.